you can use a protractor to measure angles. This full circle protractor is 360 degrees. A standard protractor is half a circle. There are two sets of numbers. The red counts one direction and the blue counts the other. So it is 180 degrees. There are 90 degrees in a square corner and 45 degrees in half a square corner. Let's take a look at this angle. We can use a protractor to measure this angle. First, put the vertex on the center. We're trying to find out how many degrees fall between the two arms of the angle, which we do by finding the difference. We can find the correct measurement of the angle as long as we use the numbers of the same color. One arm of the angle points at the zero on the right, which is blue, so we can look at the blue number starting at zero. The other arm of the angle points at the blue 40. To find how many degrees are between the arms, let's find the difference. 40 minus zero is equal to 40. This angle is 40 degrees. 40 degrees makes sense since this angle is acute, or less than 90 degrees. The other number this arm is pointing to is 140. 140 degrees would not make sense since this angle is acute. Let's look at another angle. One arm of the angle points at the zero on the left, so we can look at the red numbers starting at zero. The other arm of the angle points at 120. To find how many degrees are between the arms, let's find the difference. 120 minus zero is equal to 120. This angle is 120 degrees. 120 degrees makes sense since this angle is obtuse or greater than 90 degrees. The other number this arm is pointing to is 60 degrees. 60 degrees would not make sense since this angle is obtuse. Sometimes neither arm points to zero. For example, look at this angle. Both numbers we look at need to be the same color. Let's look at the blue set. One arrow points to 50 degrees and the other points at 130. Because neither arm of the angle points to zero, we can do 130 minus 50, which is equal to 80. It is 80 degrees from one end of the angle to the other. We can use the red numbers to see if we get the same measurement. One arm points to 130 and the other points to 50. We can subtract to find the difference. 130 minus 50 is equal to 80. It is still 80 degrees from one end of the angle to the other. We can find the correct measurement of the angle as long as we use the numbers of the same color. In this lesson, you learn to measure angles using a protractor. Thanks for watching.